Flux Context is one of the best AI image generation and editing models out there. If you're using it to create content, then you know how powerful it is for things like style transfer, image editing, and character consistency. But here's a question our school members have asked us, and maybe it's been on your mind too. What's the cheapest way to use Flux Context? It's a trick question because you can actually use it for free. In this video, we'll show you the most cost-effective way to run Flux Context Dev with modal.com and this NAN workflow. And we'll back it up with a price breakdown. Ready to see how it's done? This is AI Agents A to Z. To get started with this workflow and service, first you need to create an account with Modal. Go through the signup process, and once you are done, you are going to be credited with $5. If you add your credit card, you are going to get credited $30 each month. Next, go to huggingface.com. After successfully signing up, search for Flux Context Dev and select the one from Black Forest Labs. In here, you need to agree to share your contact information with the provider. Click on Agree and access this repository. Next, click on your profile, go to the Access Tokens, create a new token, select a read, name your token so you remember what this was. Create the token and copy the variable. Go back to model.com, click on Secrets, create new secret, select Custom, and write Flux App Secrets. Add the key hf underscore token and paste your value. If you want to protect your endpoint from unauthorized access, you can add a bearer access token. You can add bearer token as a key and you're going to write one, two, three, four, five. You can click done. This is the point where we are going to split the setup. First, we are going to show how to run this app on Windows and then we are going to show how to run it on Mac. Feel free to skip whichever is not relevant to you. Let's start with setting up the app on Windows. We start with downloading Python, and then we run the install. Make sure you add Python to the path, and click on Install Now. It's done. Python is in the house. Let's start WSL. If you don't have it, head to the Windows Store and install it. Let's double check if Python was indeed installed. Let's run Python 3, and it is working. Push Ctrl D to exit the app. Let's create a new directory called Flux, and let's change the directory into it. We are going to create a virtual environment. Run Python 3-m vnv and dot vnv. So with this command, we are creating a new virtual environment called dot vnv. Looks like we are missing a package, so let's install it. Let's run it with sudo. And after entering the password, we need to run apt update first. sudo apt update and run the previous command. Yes. And we have the VNV installed. Let's try to create the virtual environment again. This was a great success. So now the only thing that we need to do is to activate it. Run source.vnv slash bin slash activate. With this, we have activated the virtual environment. Now we should run pip install model. The next step is to configure model. Run python m model setup. Copy the URL with control C and paste it in the browser. Log in with your model account. And after selecting the workspace, click on Authorize. Let's copy the reference to the Python file. Head over to GitHub and you can find the Python file. Open it and click on Copy Link Address. This will copy the link to the raw file that we can download. Head back to the VSL and write wget 
paste in the file. And you can see the file was downloaded. The last step is to deploy the container. Run model, deploy, and the flux context dev model.python file. And this is going to deploy your image. And you can find your URL here. Copy this. This is going to be needed in an ATEM. Let's configure the project on Mac. First, create a new directory. Move to the directory. And let's use Python 3 to create a new virtual environment. Once we have that, let's source it. Now run pip install model. Now let's configure it. Run model setup. Select your model workspace and click authorize. Go back to the terminal and you can see it was successful. Go to GitHub, select the Python file and download it to your directory. Go back to the terminal and run model, deploy and the Python file. And this is it. Copy out the service URL and we are done. Now that our application is running after copying the URL, open up the GitHub page and download the NATM workflow. First, go to the configure menu. Paste the URL and then head to the Flux context node. If you specify the bearer token, configure the authentication. Select generic credential type, bearer auth, and create a new credential. Enter your bearer token, name it, and hit save. Keep in mind, that this workflow is a proof of concept. You can very easily turn this into a full automation. My recommendation is to batch all your image generation needs and generate the images after each other. This way, you don't need to cold boot your serverless application all the time. Enjoy using it and make sure to keep your eye on the credits that you use. Let's test the workflow. In NAN, let's hit execute workflow and I'm going to select an image of these bikes on a bridge over the canal. And let's turn this into a scene of a rainy day. Hit submit and see what we get. Keep in mind, after a cold start, it can take up to a minute to a minute and a half for the first image generation. But after that, each image should take about 22 seconds to generate. And here's our image. So you can see the sunlight's gone and it looks definitely overcast on a rainy day. Oh, and you can see the rain. Shall we try another one? Sure. Let's execute again. And this time I'm gonna choose this illustration of this family. And let's turn the style of this illustration into something that's photorealistic. Hit submit. And here we go. Wow, it really captured the sternness of the father's face. But it looks great. And there you go. To drive this home, let's look at a price breakdown. In this workflow, we are using the L40S GPU. This GPU has 18,000 CUDA cores and 48 gigabytes of memory. The cost is $0.000542 per second. We are also using one CPU core which is an equivalent of two vCPUs and four gigabytes of memory shared across the two applications that we are running. This means that for $30, we are able to run the serverless app for 14 hours. Generating one image takes about 22 seconds. This means we are able to generate about 2,400 images. Now, even after you've used up your free credits, this setup remains a cost-effective way to do image generation with Flux Context Dev. With Modal's great serverless GPU infrastructure, you definitely get the bang for your buck because you only pay for what you actually use. With just one signup, you're able to generate almost 2,400 images, and that's saving $60 compared to using Fall AI's Flux Context Dev model. After all the free credits are used up, for every $10 you spend, you can get 800 images. Compared to using Fall AI, you'd only get half the number of images. So that's a big deal. If you like cost-saving tips like this, join our no-code AI community on School, where you'll get access to different video generation templates, our premium server, workshops, and of course, support. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. How did you do that?